On this episode, Pulitzer Prize Syndrome. Hey everybody, this is The Quarter Show, and today we're talking about Pulitzer Prize Syndrome and what that means. So, you know, sometimes you come across somebody who's won an award, and I, I refer to it as Pulitzer Prize Syndrome, but you, you, you win an award and, or you, you hit a target, or you accomplish a goal, or, 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 right? And you get stuck in that goal, or accomplishment, or award, or whatever. and it can be pretty destructive and dangerous, certainly when it comes to sales and entrepreneurship and business in general, uh, because you're, you accomplished this thing and it's now in the past and you sort of get stuck in that like, hey, I'm this and I did this thing and you know this was my number or I did you know highest ever sales number or we accomplished this Inc. 500 award or we did this thing or that and you sort of cease to create the new thing and sort of recreate the new goal and keep doing the thing that allowed you to get there, right? So like whatever actions you took that allowed you to win the Pulitzer Prize, quote unquote type thing, the, the Pulitzer Prize, you drop out all the actions that took you to the accomplishment or to the goal. And from that moment forward in time, you kind of just like, you sort of peter out. You don't really like be anything great. And I've seen this certainly in sales and, and, and you know, even on, as an entrepreneur comp for companies, right? They attain some peak and then they sort of peter out. And I think the peter out really comes from, from not sort of recreating and recrafting the goal and then sort of codifying what got you there. So when you look at, let's say you had a huge month or a huge quarter, you want to codify what allowed you to attain that goal or, or accomplishment? And you want to write those different things down. You go, well, I did this and I did that and I did this. And sort of look and observe and go back through the month or go back through the week or go back through the quarter and start writing all those different things down and then build out essentially a routine or a repeatable model that allows you to do it over and over and over again. And every time you hit an accomplishment or every time you hit a goal or you win a Pulitzer Prize, you know, you should be going, okay, good done, put it on the shelf, get rid of it, and be proud of it, of course, but get past it quickly and 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 come down and, and start reforming your goals and say, what's next? What's what's the next Pulitzer Prize or the next goal, the next thing? Like now I hit a million dollars, how do I get to three million? And then start building it out and look at those actions that you codified and augment those actions so they're three times bigger, so they allow you to do the three million as opposed to the one million you just hit or whatever. Let's say it's one million sales and you're trying to get three million. You need to look at the actions that took you to one million, you, you know, three times those actions and figure out how you're gonna do that to take it to three million and, and dive down into the new goal and the codified actions and, and build a repeatable model to go to do that again. But I cannot tell you how many times people are completely, they hit an accomplishment, they hit a highest ever, they win a Pulitzer Prize or whatever, and they did these actions that got them there. And then they drop out all these actions. They, they get the thing and they drop out the actions and their stats crash, right? They just tank. And they can't seem to ever like get it back because they didn't codify the actions. They got the accomplishment and they failed to make a new goal or a new accomplishment that they're going after. They just, they just went, okay, mission accomplished. And every time you accomplish a mission, every time you accomplish a goal, you need to recreate a new one. You need to make a new goal to throw it out into the future, something that you're going after. So if you make the Inc. 500 list or you make the Fortune 500 list or you hit a certain sales target or you hit a quarterly target or, or whatever, it's like good, but now you need to really take some time to write down your goals and write down your accomplishments and think, good, what's next? Define what that is, codify what actions you took that got you there Right, write down those different actions, really look at those, like what did I actually do? Codify those, build those into your daily routine, enhance them to take it to the bigger thing, and then get really focused on like digesting the new target that you're gonna go after, the new goal, the new accomplishment that you're going after, really own that thing and really dive into those actions again and double down on the actions. But that's not what people do. They don't create the new goal and they completely drop out the actions or you know the codified actions that got them there 
and then they they have this experience of just like I don't know and but I went up Pulitzer Prize and gee I don't but you know three years ago I won a Pulitzer Prize and they get into this sort of like syndrome and whenever I see it I always call it Pulitzer Prize syndrome because you know, it's like you're stuck in that past incident, and it'll hurt you. And that's the thing is, is like uh, you, you look, you can see it a lot, a lot in like, uh, well, in any industry, you can see it in cinema, you can see it in Hollywood, you can see it in sports, you can see it in a lot of different things. If you've even been near sales, you've definitely seen yeah. it. You've seen it where a guy hits a really high mark and then like coasts into the weekend, and then oh my god, and then the next week, and then it's tanked, right? And it could be also phrased as being stuck in a win. Right, you have a sure, win, sure. And, and you have you have like this this very positive vibe that you felt, and you're stuck in it, right? And the, the, like a good way to get unstuck is to write down the successful actions immediately. Just be like, that was amazing. Why was that amazing? What happened? And just start writing those things down. It'll start to separate you out, and you'll start to like see successful actions that yeah. you can then put into your future. The entire key to getting out of that is to start to put a future there. You look at like like uh, like well. Tarantino, right? He finishes Pulp Fiction, and it's unbelievable. That guy could have crashed hard afterwards. Instead, he created movie after movie with his theme and his elements and everything like that. And he just like put his successful actions sure. to work for him, and just kick butt. Uh, the thing that came to mind while Rob was talking is if you've seen Zoolander, Mugatu, and he's like, I invented the keyboard necktie. I invented that, right? It's like 20 years before, or whatever. It's just funny stuff, but. <laughs> But you can see how a guy can get stuck in his success, right? Yeah. You gotta write down those actions, you gotta put a future out there, and then you have to quickly go there because, I mean, I remember the first really huge week I had at Richter, my next week was zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that happened immediately, just like that. A very, you know, successes can be really playing with knives, you know, it, it, successes can be dangerous. Oh, and that's why it is, it, it is super dangerous, and that's why, like, if you're running a sales team, I recommend don't run them on the month, don't run them on the quarter, I don't agree. run them on anything, run them on the week. And then in person, run them on the day. You know, this guy's down, like breathing down their necks yeah. all the time, right? And, and you know, and, and that's a cultural thing. You gotta yeah. like hustle. That's the way to, to like outrun your your wind. Yeah, you have to create it every single day. And one thing I found, to comment on that one, one thing I found is like a lot of companies work on the quarter, which is fine, we work on the quarter too. Um, a lot of companies sure. work on the month, but we work on the week. But the sales team very specifically work week to week, but we work day to day and we treat every day like a football game, right? Yeah. We, we run from bell to bell. So the bell start in the morning and the bell end in the afternoon. And we just focus on nothing else except for focusing on the day, but you know, dovetailing into what we're talking about. In terms We've got Wolverine Wednesday, Hulk smash yeah. Thursday, <laughs> right? Clydesdale Friday. Whatever it takes, you know, whatever so. but, but the point is, is that, you know, focusing on the win and you know, you, 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 it can, it can, it can poison your, your, your follow up to, to the win. Like what's next? And, it, and you can, it can be really dangerous. You know, when you accomplish something, you know, it's, especially if it's a big accomplishment. Like if you do something, you pull up something big, you work so hard to do it. Like I, you see sometimes with running, I, I run a lot and you see people who practice for a marathon, they train for a marathon um, and then they go and do the marathon and then their running just completely drops out and they've now accomplished it. They ran a marathon, they ran 26 miles, and then they dr the running just drops out. And, you know, you can't do that. You know? Can you imagine what would happen if Apple had been like, Steve Jobs had been like, there's the touchscreen phone with, this, with the supercomputer on it. Well, I guess we did it. Boom, and you, yeah, you, companies like that have every opportunity to crash afterwards. You have they to keep, keep innovating, keep fought. pushing, keep creating yeah. a new goal, like what is the next, sort of ambitious thing that we're gonna be going after. And you need to be looking at, even from a sales standpoint, go, what is your next ambitious ambitious thing that you're going after? And every time you have an attainment, you need to come up with the next attainment. Like, what is the next goal, achievement, whatever that you need to go after? What's the next ambitious thing? And then keep looking at every single action that you did that got you to the first attainment or you know ambitious goal or whatever. You have to codify those. A lot of people are crap at that. A lot of people don't do it. Um, they don't take the time to write down the things that, that, are, that resulted in the accomplishment, right? You have to make sure make a habit of writing those different things down so you can make it a repeatable model and do it over and over and over again. You literally have to write it down. You really do have to write it down. You can't, I, you can't I'm, I'm, think I'm, it up here you can. or, or I'm so, reflect on it. I'm so thankful I've written down these different things over the years and it's super every, weird you can't do it. Every time I've, it. I've I've I interview salespeople when they have huge weeks sometimes I interview them at the end of the week and I ask them like what happened? What did you do here? What do you and start going through. We have this like, you know, sort of debrief and just go through and collect, 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 collect notes. And, and now we have sort of a compilation 
of, of what it takes to win, you know, and, and uh, but a yeah. lot of after Devin did, after yeah. one of our guys did his highest week, and like by far one of the highest weeks ever in Richter, Rob had got, talked to him, wrote it all down, but even even this person was like not certain that we could be repeated. Mm -hmm. And then a couple months later, he repeated it. And, yeah. And we, you know, there's been a lot of close a number of times. But it's kind of amazing, even as a person, like how easy it is to drop things out. You just you just forget, like drop it out. I mean, you stop doing it. Like yeah. you, you don't, and then sometimes you don't even recognize it. Like you don't, you're like, wow, I did stop running. Or wow, I stopped doing that action, or I stopped, you know, I I, I did this, and I, I sold this thing, and, and, and I've been presenting this thing, and sent a proposal for this thing, and now I no longer do that. Like, people just drop things out, yeah. and and that's why you have to write the repeatable model, and then set the new goal and, and accomplishment and go after it. So, something to really take to heart, really implement into your your day and your week. That'll certainly help, uh, and uh, help you help you enjoy that. So we will have more coming at you soon. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, share it on social if you like it. And, of course, hit the, uh, hit the like button as well. Okay? Thanks.